Hello, my friends. Welcome to the hottest damn show on the internet, Talking Mayhem Mania, uh, filmed in front of a live studio audience. I'm your pal in the mystery media, your favorite. And um, on the couch, these guys, fellas from uh, the Pit Fight Show. Go check them out. Pit Greensburg. It's coming up. Google it. Should work. Um, let's just see who else we got here with us tonight. Um, hey, speak of the devil. I'm wearing the... Oh, Garza's here. Hey, everyone. What's up, Garza? I'm doing good, man. How are you? How's it going? Nice to have you back for another week. I engineered this brilliantly, I must say, because uh, I like having you on the show. You know, Thank some you. people are just here making matches, and some people are playing the game. And, and I'm playing the game. And Garza, you've been here for two straight weeks, and it's no accident. So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm always happy to be here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Got to make sure uh, no one books Robocop. Yeah. Got to <laughs> get in the way of that one. Sorry, you want to use your eliminator to uh, on Robocop? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Um, hey, speak of the devil. Look, top guys. And joining us from New York, American Alpha. Yeah. Look top at that. Guys doing, <laughs> top guys doing top guy things. Top guys out. I, I figure if I'm wearing the American Alpha shirt, I have to book a tag team match tonight. You did. Let's I, take a look at your uh, your match here. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the, uh, mm -hmm. the two best tag teams in the okay. Um, <laughs> Mike, were you really? Because you mentioned the War Raiders too. Unfortunately, they were in another match. You wanted to make this a four way with the Ro War Raiders, yeah, and <laughs> Boss Hug. Uh huh. Like, how did you see that playing out? Like mm. in reality. Well, like, I how mean does that go down? I, I do have a long-standing grudge against Ray Rowe. Right. And the only team I know that's been unified longer than the War Raiders are Sasha and Bailey. I mean, the Usos have been together for a while, too. You know, no, since they're, day they're, one. <laughs> yeah, but day Literally. one of what? They never, they never qualify this. And plus, who knows if they'll both make it to Mania? There's a lot of driving involved. Yeah, but I mean, right. clearly that was a chance you were willing to take. So, yeah, no, I mean, I I stand by it. I I feel it. I feel like it's going to be a good match. You know, everyone comes in their current physical, contractual, emotional, um, you know, criminal record. You know, <laughs> it's all there. Yeah, you know, you can't just wash this stuff away. I say Sasha and Bailey are on the highest of highs because they're the inaugural women's champions, and they don't want to lose it. And so, the so uh, I, and you know, and then you have the revival. So. Yep. Mike, I have a question. Sure. So you're obviously going for the SmackDown Tag Champions, the Women's Tag Champions, the Raw Tag Champions, and the mm -hmm. NXT Tag Champions. Yep. What is your problem against the UK? Why is some Gibson? What about Liverpool's number one, Mike? What is this? Because um because I I sensed over previous weeks that there was a prejudice against NXT UK people. And I felt that if I included them, my match would not last long. Really? I, I feel like I have a good shot at this. Let, let me ask you, let me throw a quick one out here since we got guards. And I'll ask you this too, man, Mike. Um, if you had to uh, say, obviously Pete Dunn's like an obvious omission from this, but if you had to like, if you're looking for someone else from uh, NXT UK who you think needs to get on this card, like who you, uh, who you pegging? I mean, well, Walter's gone now too. So I guess he's kind of an obvious one too. But uh, they got a lot of good guys down there, right? A lot. Like, we haven't seen Tony Storm come up. Um, she's a women's champion. Um, uh, Walter, now that he's free, we do know that Marcel Barthel oh, is in yeah. NFC, and they are together known as Room Camp. Um, I'm all about Marcel Barthel. So, yeah, so there are some names. Travis Banks, uh, obviously, mm. Miles Mountain, Mustache Mountain. So... Lots yeah, of options like, out there. NXT UK hasn't been getting a lot of love past that time that the Gallup was booked. The Gallus. Gallus. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gallus. God. Coffee Brothers. I, I, I'd probably throw in like <laughs> someone like a Noam Dar or a Wolfgang. I like I like Noam Dar. You see that match with uh, him and Nice oh. from 205. Did I Holy. ever? I, I watched that match thoroughly. It was very good. I'm like not a regular... 205 guy, but I am glad I watched that one. That was awesome. No, I'm darn. He's really good. All right, let's run through these matches right here before I get too distracted. 
uh, Johnny Gargano versus Demon Balor, created by Zorgatron. Um, the Triconics versus the Tri Pirates, created by Bobby. Uh, the Old Kings of Wrestling versus <clears throat> Garza. What was what was the nickname for the uh, Keith Lee Dijakovic team? They, were, they used to be known as the Monstars of okay. Space Jam fame. <laughs> <laughs> was that a really? PWG thing? Yes. Is that, okay. Wow, that was a PWG it, thing. Is it because Dijak, Dijakovic would hit him high and Keith Lee would hit him low? Well, if you remember the, the Monstars, there are two specific monsters that look just like them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but, For all you Space but, Jam um, fans. Hey, let's that, ask the kids also, on the couch if they remember Space Jam, Sorg. You guys remember Space Jam? Song. Thank God. All right. <laughs> that's good that, to that's hear. also the song that, that's their theme song is Hit em High by Coolio, Busta Rhymes, and the like. I forget who else was on it, but yeah. We're in the way back machine. And I, I can sing the whole thing for you. I will refrain. Okay. That's fine. Appreciate it. Because I don't want it to get pulled off the net. You know, <laughs> oh, of course. Because you have been like, you know, spot on. All right. Yeah, exactly. uh, Ronda Rousey versus Rhea Ripley, created by Kyle from Pit Fight. Uh, that's a lot of art. That's a lot that's of art. I'm glad Rhea Ripley's, st- Rhea Ripley's like, I can't believe she's hanging tough on this card, Sorg. I'm surprised no one has booked Rhea Ripley versus her mirror opposite Pete Dunne. <laughs> <Just, laughs> it's the same person. How can you book it? <laughs> just on stilts. Um, all right. Um, all right, man, Mike, we got through yours. Uh, the Honey Badger match, War Raiders and Sarah Logan versus Sanity, just the guys. Uh, Cornell from Pit Fight Mage. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Matt Riddle. Lots of knees there. And Sam from Pit Fight Mage. Seth Rollins versus Alistair Black. As intriguing as Rollins versus Charlotte was, I do like Rollins versus Aleister Black. But uh, uh, someone there. mentioned in the chat room before there was a battle of the blacks. Battle of the blacks. Tyler there versus Alistair. Black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know that's that's really the best match book during Black History Month. <sighs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Tyler Black versus Alistair Black. We're going to get that out in post, right? So, <laughs> what? Yeah, we'll fix that. No, it's post. okay. It's okay. It's um, a joke. Oh, here's something I wanted to mention real quick. I alluded to this. Mad Mike, you've made your third move of Mayhem Mania tonight. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got to tell you, I don't think we're going to see you again until Patreon in the bank, which is what, what round are we in today? Four, three, four. Wait, stand by. Five. I'll check. But no, we're not in round five. Wait, Garza, you might That's actually fine. know. Um, <laughs> right, we had the well, no, no, no. We had the uh, we had the opening round. Okay, we're twenty seven. Oh, it's week round. five. No, technically round four. Okay, all right. Yeah. So we're yeah, we're, we're technically round four, but yes, fifth week. Okay. So I, I kind of did the math on this, and having these three guys here didn't help things. Not that I didn't appreciate having them there because they made great matches. But look, there are like something like all right. So, so in theory, we always have at least like one guest here on the Mayhem Show who's kind of like the special guest. So you really only have like four moves a week that can be you know distributed among you know the regulars so to say so it, we're in our fifth week we got what right around five we got four more rounds until we hit patreon in the bank we know that like coming up the main event are coming in in a few weeks they might be bringing liddy so that might be another like three guests three special guests a week all right so like man mike if we're gonna make this balance out because you know i'm all about fairness and we do have rules here um you know it's gonna be like it is virtually 99.9 percent. it is almost a guarantee impossibility that you're gonna have a fourth move in mayhem mania this is it I mean, yeah but matt you know there is something to be said for consistency i'm here every week i always bring my gear I always bring your gear to the show if you're if if Mustafa Ali gets a concussion, I am the Kofi Kingston ready to cash the fuck in. So are you suggesting that um, you are more deserving than our other Mayhem Mania players? I'm just, I'm having just saying more I'm moves. That's all. Okay. I also used to be Jamaican. Like, there's a lot of similarities. More deserving than Ty Cross. More deserving I'm than Tina. More deserving than Ty Cross. More deserving than Larry. <laughs> uh, no, no I, I wouldn't say that. Uh, unless Larry goes full bar gun again. Yeah, well, he, I mean, he could at any time, and you're like, exactly. he, if he That's finds out, saying. Larry's had Larry has had two moves also, so his next move is probably going to be his last. Like, and Matt, like, and Matt, who knows if you give him one more move, and you're like, Larry, this is it. Like, he might go RoboCop Bart Gun on us, and just like, you know, 
F the Man, planet, you, watch the world burn. You know, I do always strive for consistency. Yeah. I don't make anything crazy. No, that's true. I, 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 try, I try and make things that I personally would want to see. That I think the world would want to see. Well, we're trying to make the best WrestleMania card possible. Exactly. And sometimes we and do some better people than forget others. That. Oh, Sorg, you gonna, can you put that up on the screen for us? Okay, real quick, everybody, check this out before we go. Hot Wheels on the Xbox created the Mayhem Mania Arena on 2K19. Wow. Take a look at this hotness. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. What is that? Oh, my goodness. Why is he holding that? It looks like he's holding an actual arena. Everyone knows that Mayhem Mania is a stadium show, Sorg. It is a stadium <laughs> show. And there ain't no venue on, under God's hot sun big enough to hold Mayhem Mania. We sell out the world. Packed, uh, it looks as packed as wrong. I thought we were having it at the Roman <laughs> Coliseum this year. I thought we were at the L.A. Coliseum. No, then no. We had to the move Roman in. Coliseum. So we did, but then we had to move to the Memorial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with the Roman Coliseum. Dude, yeah, I like that. The death threats. Yeah, the, we, the, had the the threats. we had the we, we had the LA Coliseum book and we had to move it in. Sorry. There were too many death threats, so we had to move to the yes. LA Sports Arena. <laughs> LA Sports Arena will be holding Mayhem Mania. <laughs> okay. Um Garza, let everybody know where they can uh find you here on the uh on the internet. Yeah. You can find me at DWrestlingRevolution.com and you can go to Fear 4 W online and read my impact wrestling recaps. Excellent. Mad Mike. Uh, you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter. I talk about wrestling and things and stuff, and also YouTube.com slash. Okay, that's enough. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Mainstream Matt One T. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks to the fellas on the couch, uh, Sam, Kyle, and Cornell. Check out Pit Fight, uh, the big wrestling show coming up at Pit Greensboro coming up in March. Excellent. Good job. Right well. um, have a great night, everybody. Stay a Emmy. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.